therefore you call on me to speak about Rathiyatra. <laughs> so if you'll give his causeless mercy, I'll be able to say a few words. Srila Gurudev has explained that without understanding the uh, topic of Rathiyatra, one cannot understand the deep uh, the deepness of Srimad Bhagavatam. The Rathiyatra festival is the um, meeting of Srimati Radhika and the gopis with Krishna at Kurukshetra. And the gopis bringing back Krishna to Vrindavan on the chariot of their hearts. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, who is Krishna himself, covered by the mood and complexion of Srimati Radhika, has taken three aspects of Srimati Radhika. That is, in Navadweep, he is Vrishabhanu Nandini Radhika. In Puri, he is uh, Biyogini Radhika. And in Kurukshetra, he's San Yogini Radhika. So during the Rathayatra festival, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, in the mood of Srimati Radhika, is offering so many prayers to Lord Jagannath. In the mood of Radharani and the gopis meeting Krishna at Kurukshetra. For a long time, maybe 60, 70 years, Krishna had been separated from the Brijbasis. And just as the gopis and Brijbasis could barely live without his presence, he was also feeling the same way and falling unconscious in many ways and staying unconscious for a long time in the ecstasy of separation from the Brijbasis and especially the gopis and especially Srimati Radhika. So, he wrote a letter, or he somehow or other got a message to the Brijbasis, to Nanda Baba, that there's going to be a big uh, festival for solar eclipse at Kurikshetra, and you should come just leaving a few of the elder persons behind. So everyone went, the elderly gopas and gopis, the uh, coward boys and Radharani and the gopis, they all went by bullock cart. When they arrived, Krishna was meeting in his mood of a prince, Prince of Dwarka, with his millions of ministers, counselors, family members, and all of a sudden, a message came that your parents have arrived from Vrindavan on a bullock cart. Krishna immediately forgot where he was, all the people that he was with, and he immediately ran, and Balaram ran behind him to greet that bullock cart. When Krishna saw his mother, he immediately burst out in tears, and his mother, who had been so dry, becoming dry, that she's so death-like, like a skeleton, that she couldn't even weep anymore. Now she was bursting out in tears. And Krishna went on his lap, just as when he was a baby, and she put her veil over Krishna's um, head, his face, and uh, just like a baby drinking Krishna's, his mother's breast milk, Krishna was there with Mother Yasoda, weeping, ma, ma and Mother Yasoda weeping, oh my darling son. Seeing that Krishna had gone, Vasudeva and Devaki followed them and some of the other Dwarka Vasis. And seeing the beautiful loving exchange between Krishna and Mother Yasoda, Devaki was thinking, he's not her son, he's my son. He never calls me mother even. But still he's wailing and weeping, oh ma, oh ma. So she was just about to create some disturbance when Rohini Devi, who was also now living in Dwarka, 
as the mother of Baladev, but she's also a Brijbasi. She wanted to stop that impending disturbance. So she wanted to take her away. So Devaki, just before she left, she tried to be very polite and said, Oh, Yasode, you're so merciful, you're so liberal, that even though Krishna is not your son, you've taken care of him for all these years. Just like the eyelids protect the eye, you protected my son Krishna. And Rohini immediately told Devaki and Vasudev, we have so many relatives to greet who are coming, so many rishis and sages who are coming from all over the world that you must come because you are the host and hostess. So they immediately left. But Mother Yasoda didn't hear a word anyway. Then Mother Yasoda understood because she knows that Krishna loves Srimati Radhika the most. And so in order to give an opportunity to Radhika and the gopis who were standing nearby and just about to die at the very next moment, Mother Yasoda uh, took Baladev by the hand and Nanda Baba and they also left to go and join the family members. Srila Gurudev explained that when he was a young boy, he was working, uh, helping his father, and they would gather uh, bags of chickpeas. And as he was carrying the big bag of chickpeas, it was very heavy, but it wasn't such a big problem. Walking and walking and walking, it became heavier and heavier, till finally he reached his village, finally he reached almost to his door, and just before he entered the door, it was so heavy that he couldn't carry it anymore, and it dropped. Similarly, the gopis were barely able to tolerate and barely able to remain alive in separation from Krishna. And now that they were just almost ready to meet with him, they were just about to die in separation. And Mother Yasoda knew this, so she took everyone away to give them the opportunity. So now Shimati Radhika and the gopis are meeting with Krishna. And this is the time that Srimati Radhika said that verse that was quoted by Sripad Prayojana Prabhu. That you are the same lover, I am the same beloved. I've not seen you in such a long time and I was almost burnt by the fire of Cupid. Now I'm seeing you again after so long. But looking around, and seeing all your queens, seeing your palaces, seeing your elephants, horses, chariots, and ministers. I'm not happy here. By mood, the gopis were telling Krishna, come back to Vrindavan. You can only be happy in Vrindavan. But if you want to come back to Vrindavan, then you'll have to take your flute and take your peacock feather. You'll have to forget that you are the son of Vasudeva and Devaki. And remember that you're the son of Jashoda and Nanda Baba. Krishna told them, trying to seem detached, as sometimes we see young boys trying to be detached when they're actually very much uh, enamored by some young girl. Where does this sentiment come from? Janmad yasi yataha. Everything has its origin in the Supreme Truth. So Krishna, hiding his own feelings, told them, So you've heard that I'm God? And yes, it's true, I am God. So best, if you meditate on me, then you'll find that actually there's no separation between us. Actually, just as the elements are present everywhere, earth, water, fire, we see everywhere, in every object. So similarly, you are all, also in me. Everything is in me and you are on me. So simply meditate on me and you'll feel no more separation. So hearing this, the gopis became very angry and they uttered a verse in sarcasm. Now these verses were also uttered by Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu at the Ratha Yatra festival in the mood of Srimati Radhika speaking to Lord Jagannath who is actually Krishna in Dwarka, who's feeling separation from
from Radhika and the gopis and the residents of Vrindavan who was looking for an excuse to leave Dwarka and come back to Vrindavan. Jagannath had told Bhimala, who represents the 16,000 queens, now I have just, uh, I have some disease, I have some loose motions. I need to go somewhere and recuperate myself. So Bhimala, representing Lakshmi, the goddess of fortune, or all the 16,000 queens, sent him with Baladev and Subhadra, knowing that when there's Baladev and Subhadra, then Krishna will surely return quickly. So similarly, Jagannath, Baladev and Subhadra went from the Jagannath Puri temple to the Gundicha Mandir. Jagannath Puri represents Dwarka and Gundicha represents Vrindavan. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is reliving this pastime as San Yogini Radhika. So Radhika and the gopis are telling Krishna in sarcasm, Oh yes, you are Padmanabha, from whose lotus navel comes Lord Brahma. The great sages, the yogis, they can meditate on you, but we are just attached householders. We have no capacity to meditate on you. We're in the dark well of household life. What is the meaning? The meaning is that, oh yes, we believe you're God, sure you're God. Does God have to steal the wives of other men? Does God have to steal the clothing in a very flirtatious way of young married and unmarried girls who are bathing? Does God have to steal butter from all the neighbors? And if he doesn't get what he wants from his mother immediately, he throws a temper tantrum and throws around all the pots? Yes, we know that you're God. So, why did they mention Padmanava? That is, the Lord from whose navel Lord Brahma comes? Because they're saying that Brahma came from a dull, inert lotus flower. He has no real mother or father. And therefore, one gets the qualities of his parents. So Brahma, coming from that inert lotus flower, his brain is also inert. And therefore, he can meditate on you. But we, we're very intelligent. You're telling us to meditate, but that's a joke. Because actually, we're trying to forget you. We were happy in our homes, and then you played your flute and brought us out into rasa dance and so many other pastimes, and we became just like birds in the forest, weeping with no home. And you left us never to return. So in this way, the uh, gopis were, by their mood, pulling Krishna back to Vrindavan. You say that we should meditate on you with our minds, but our minds are Vrindavan. Our minds and hearts are Vrindavan. So if you come back to Vrindavan, then you can be in our minds. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu uh, quoted one uh, poem from mundane Sahitya Darpan mundane uh, love poetry where one lover is speaking to her beloved that now our youth is gone in our youth we were so happy together but now somehow or other Gurudev explained this is the mood of the wife to the husband or vice versa before when we weren't married and we were hiding and very stealthily engaged in our loving affairs, our loving talks, sweet talks about nothing. At that time we were so happy and we were banned from seeing each other. But that ban created a very special excitement. Now we're married and everyone gives us a free pass to see each other. And what happened? It became boring. The only real excitement in household life is when there's some fight 
and then they make up. So for a few minutes, there's a new experience. So I want you to come back to where we used to be, by the Vetasi tree. The Vetasi tree is a very interesting tree, like something like a rubber tree. Because when the wind blows, it may blow over so many other trees, knock them down, like breaking, but a Vetasi tree bends. So come back to the Vetasi tree, which there's no breaking under any condition. This is the definition of praying. No matter what high, high cause there is to break, that praying never breaks. So we want you to I want you to have that time before we were married. Is it possible? Is it possible? Many of you are married. Is it possible to go back to the old times? Though we can aspire for it. Similarly, Radhika and the gopis, they're wanting Krishna to go back to Vrindavan, but here they're seeing the queens and the ministers and the elephants. So Krishna told them that because your love for me is so great, I'm coming back in a very short time. I'm actually controlled by you and Krishna became so shy and so embarrassed. In this way, by their hearts, the gopis took Krishna back to Vrindavan. At the same time, of course, we know that Krishna le never left Vrindavan. So there are so many corollaries between the um, meeting of Radharani and Krishna and the gopis in Kurukshetra and also the um, songs by Chaitanya Mahaprabhu to Lord Jagannath. Sometimes Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was in the back of the cart and even when the cart stopped and even ele elephants and all the king's soldiers, King Prataparuja's soldiers, could not push that cart to Gunjika, Gunjika, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu pushed it with his head to show that for only Radhika, Krishna is always in Vrindavan. So there are very, very beautiful stories that show the uh, origin of Lord Jagannath in this world. And uh, it's not time to get into those stories. One is King Indradumna and uh, the deity of Lord Jagannath appeared to him. And then the story of uh, Rohini and the queens of Dwarka. And that also made Lord Jagannath appear. And then one very beautiful pastime that Srila Gurudev tells, which is exactly corresponding to Lord Chaitanya at the Ratha festival, is that Krishna was in Dwarka, unconscious, and Narada and Baladev, for days he was unconscious, and Baladev and Narada and Uddhav and so many other relatives were wondering how to get Krishna back to consciousness. And they were thinking, they were discussing, well, if we tell Krishna, if somehow or other we let Krishna know that we're bringing him back to Vrindavan, then he will uh, be happy again. So send, go to Vrindavan. Uddhav, you go to Vrindavan and tell all the inhabitants of Braj that Krishna is coming back. So Uddhav said, the last time I went, I thought he was going to come back, and they, I told them that he would, he promised, but then he never came back, cruel as he is. So if I go back again, they'll say, oh, that liar, Uddhav has come. And same thing happened with Baladev. Baladev said, I went, I begged him to come when I returned from Vrindavan, and he refused. So again, they'll say, oh, that liar, Baladev has come. So Subhadra was there. And she said, I will tell, I will go to Vrindavan. I will sit on the lap of Mother Yasoda and she will caress me. And I will tell her that Krishna is coming and Baladev is coming on chariots very soon. And oh, they're just a little bit delayed because on the way, so many rich personalities, merchants, kings, they all stop the chariot to give Krishna so many presents. But he's just now coming. So then they woke up Krishna and told him, now we're going to Vrindavan. And they got three chariots for Krishna, for Subhadra, and for Baladev. On the way to the chariot, because Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was watching how Lord Jagannath got on the chariot to go to the Gunjita temple, which represents Vrindavan. On the way to the chariot, 
when Uda was taking Krishna to the chariot, he couldn't walk. He was falling back and forth in so much separation and eagerness to get to Vrindavan, to get to the chariot, to get to the Vrindavan. And this was just like Lord Jagannath at the Rathi Yatra festival. We see, uh, sometimes even though we're far away in the crowds, we see on the TV if we're in Jagannath Puri, that Lord Jagannath is swayed back and forth, sometimes looking like he's all the way over. And the um, servants, Savaras, have to keep him high and it takes a long time. And he goes from pillow to pillow bursting all the fluff, cotton fluff from the pillow. So similarly Krishna was like that. And finally he got in the chariot and they went to Vrindavan. In the meantime, Srimati Radhika was uh, almost on the verge of death and surrounded by her gopis who were um, putting a cotton swab by her nose to see if she was alive. Then Krishna's chariots Balaram, first Krishna came and Krishna saw Radharani lying there and Vishaka and Lalita whispered in the, in the ear of Srimati Radhika, Krishna is here, don't leave. Because Radharani had been saying, I'm leaving now, I'm going to die, but after I die, please wrap my arms around a tamal tree so that I'll be always embracing Krishna and merge my breath, the air of my breath, with the air of Nandagaon, so I can always be with Krishna, and merge the water of my body in the water of the lakes and rivers where Krishna swims, so I can always have his touch. So just then, Krishna arrived, and they whispered in her ear, Krishna's here. So Radharani uh, came back to consciousness, but just before she did, Seeing Radharani in that piteous state, Krishna became frozen and his heart melted. And in that melted condition, his head melted, his body melted, his arms melted, and he took the form of Lord Jagannath and was rolling on the ground. Then when Radhika awoke, seeing him in that condition, wanting to awaken him that Radhika is okay, they were singing, Rade 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 Jai 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 Sri Rade 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 exchanges and discussions. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, in the mood of Srimati Radhika, was uh, offering so many glorifications to Lord Jagannath to bring Krishna back from Dwarka to Vrindavan. Before Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, The cult festivals, form was another. But after Chaitanya Mahaprabhu he came, he added all these moods in Rath Jatra and it became so Rath Jatra. But this Rath Jatra, from where begins? It begins from Satya Yuga. And now Mahap in Mahaprabhu, uh, at, at before, elephants and the royal persons, they used to pull the cart. But now Chaitanya Mahaprabhu told, oh, we will pull. And he began to pull. And thus, Rashlita, Rath Jatra festival became so Rashastha. It is, its origin, is in Satyu and there was a king Indra Dumna. And how he discovered Jagannath, Baldev Subhadra, or Madhu Maharaj in the brief he will tell. Hello, hello.
महाराज And Nitya Lila Prasthan Krishna Pad Shri Bhakti Vrindavan Sami Maharaj. I pay my obeisance to all Krishna Vas and Krishna Vis who are assembled here, headed by the Dandi Sannyasis. Shri Guru Dev Odami, the origin of Rath Yatra is started in Satya Yug. How it came in this world, Guru Dev Odami to narrate in brief. So Rath Yatra means Rath means chariot or cart, Yatra means journey. When someone going one place to another place through chariot, then called Rath Yatra. Like you have heard from Sabrani Didi, Krishna is going from Daraka to Vrindavan. By not any vehicle, not any motor, not any boat, going only by chariot. So this journey called Rath Yatra. How it began in Satya Yug? In Satya Yug there is a famous king and very influential king and he was very religious minded he used to serve Vaishnavas and he used to do a lot of pilgrimage places, journey for pilgrimage places once in his kingdom few pilgrimages came there and they are talking to each other about the glory of Nil Madhav and they told to king if you see Nil Madhav he is so handsome, so attractive what we desire, your desire fulfilled. Telling this, they went away. But king, at that time not giving so much attention, then he called his courtiers, ministers and others, how to get, I want to take Darshan of Nilvadha. How it is possible? Then he sent all directions, his messengers. We have to come back within a month, then I will go back to take Darshan of Nil Madhav. In one direction, in south direction, he sent the son of his priest named Vidyapati. Vidyapati went in south direction and in the ancient in India, where you will go in village, there is some religious person, if you go in for pilgrimage, they will host you. So he host one place, then the owner of that house he came back, he's full of nice fragrant. He became surprised. From where the nice fragrant is coming? Every day he used to go early in the morning and he used to come back evening. And he had only one daughter named Lolita. And the, his name was, the householder name was Bissabasu. So they are living together, gradually, gradually, love developing between Vidyapati and Lolita. Now, Lolita is only one daughter and Vishabhasu loves her so much. So one day Lolita and Vidyapati, they decide they will marry each other. Why? The Vishabh Vidyapati is in a desire not to marry her. How to discover Indra Dhunna King Sen, how to discover Nilmadha. So Sanatana Goswami has told, Sakarja Muddharit Pragdo Karja Dhamsena Murkata. Will be learned one, he will discover the process how to do his job. And who is foolish one, somehow or other, he destroys his job. 
So somehow that if I make friendship with this girl and marry her, then I can know where his father is going. And he asked Lalita, where is father is going? Well, my father is going to do some worship and deity named Nilmadha. Then he became very surprised. And he counseled his heart not to tell others. Then Lolita told to his father, her father, Vishabasu, Oh father, I want to marry this boy. Because Vishabasu engaged her, his daughter to take care of Vidyapati. Then marriage ceremony took place. They became very happy. Then now Vidyapati told, told everything to Lolita. I want to take darshan of Nilmadhav. So Lolita told to his father, he denied. No, not possible. I could not talk anyone. Then Lolita told, oh my dear father, if you not took your son-in-law, I take some poison and finish my life. <laughs> then Vishavasu thought, oh, I have only one child, and if she will die, then what is my, the value of my life? Then he told, okay, I can take my son in but one condition. What is that condition? I'll put blindfold, seven blindfold on his eyes, and put him in a bullock cart, and take him there, and I open his eyes. After taking darshan, I put back blindfold, and come back again here, then I open it. If agree, then I can take. Lolita told, okay, no problem. Then Lolita told his, uh, her husband, Vidyapati, okay. So I am giving some mustard seed. And you can take mustard seed without knowing my father. And you can take Vidyapati, yes. On the way I can drop one after another. And now rainy season is coming. Then sprout will come. After that flower will come. Sing the flower. I can recognize how to go there. It is a very easy process. Okay. Then he took himself in a bullock cart, put him blindfold, went to the top of the mountain where Nilmadha residing. Going there, he took off his blindfold and he went to pick up some flower for worshipping. And he saw that near it, there is a lake and one, the top of the lake, one branch of a tree hanging, leaning towards the lake. One crow was sitting there and he was disappointed and dropping the water. And immediately his soul came out, became four-handed, and Garud came and took him to Vaikuntha planet. He thought, oh my gosh, very nice. So I will jump in the lake and give up my life, I will go to Vaikuntha planet directly. Garud will take me there. Then he climbed on the tree, then aerial sound came, Vidyapati, don't jump in the lake. You have to do so many jobs. In the meantime, Vishavasu returned there. What are you doing? Come here, come here. Then he come down. But Vishavasu does, does not know that aerial sound was there. And he did puja. Again after puja, put blindfold back and bring him to his resident. So now this way, Vidyavati told to Lolita, now I have to go to king. I have to do the job of king. So then he came back. And he had some kids also there. He came back and told King, Oh, I know the whole process now how to go there. Then he told them now, with his army and minister came there. But the nature of person sometimes it covered with sand. Whole the Nilmadha Nilachal Parvat was completely covered by sand. Then what to do? Inratuna Maharaj with his wife Gundicha and our minister, they told him to hunger strike. Unless until will not take darshan of Nilmadhav, I will give up my life here. Then a real sound came. Oh king, no need to die here. You can go back further down to the ocean. And there is one called Bankim Mahana. And three logs of wood will come there. And you can pull out the log and make my deity over there. By this way I will manifest they are not in more any more Nilmadha form. So king came back with his minister and others and they are meditating when the Lord will come there. After few days 
three big logs, completely red, and there are marks of consul, disc, club, and lotus. King Tad has level best to pull it out from the ocean by soldiers and elephant, horse, became failure. Then again a real sound came, called Vidyapati's dynasty, Vishavasu's dynasty. So Vidyapati's and their dynasty all came, and easily... Bishwabai Bhavasu, he also came. Yeah, Vishavasu, and the, all they came there. As, as soon as they touched the wood, the log of wood came out very easily. Then king loaded in the cart and took him one place and keep there. And he invited all carpenters and carvers who can carve the deity. As soon as they are using their instrument, it became very strong sound and broken into pieces. None can do that. It's so hard, more harder than thunderbolt. Any carver could not do that. One day, one elderly Brahmin came and told, Oh king, don't worry, because king was very morose. How to do? So I can carve the deities, but I have one condition. You have to make one big hall, and only one door will be there. I will do there in need three weeks. But my condition is that, unless until I will not complete my carving, before three weeks you should not open the door. Okay, no problem. They make one big hall, and that elderly person entered there, and lets the door from inside. After two weeks, no sound is coming. Then Queen told, O oh King, maybe the elderly person has died. No sound is coming. What is eating? What is drinking? Better to open the door. King told, No. I have condition. Before three weeks, I am not allowed to open the door. Queen told, no, if that elderly person will die, he is Brahmin, then Brahmahatta Pap, sin will touch you. Then you get big problem for your whole life. It is not proper, it is not fair. Why? Because Jagannath inspired on his heart, Queen's heart. So King, by force, break the door. And when he entered there, no one is there. And what John, and sometimes we have told, the elderly person smiled and disappeared. And sometimes you heard from Gurudev, no one is there, only three Murtis Vibras are there. Like nowadays we have seen Jagannath Dev, Subhadra Dev, Devi and Baladev Prabhu. Why so? Why make that form? So for that reason, we have heard from Srila Gurudev, once the queens of Dharaka, they are asking Rohini Maya, Oh Maya, we have heard that Krishna is always some hankering for Brajavasis, especially Sakhas, parents, and especially Gopis, and especially Radhika. But all night, being with us, sometimes telling, Oh Lalite, Oh Visakhe, Oh, arrange to meeting with Radhika. So what is the cause? We are, one after another is matchless beautiful. We are 16,108 queens, could not conquer Krishna's mind, but Krishna always hankering for them. What is caused behind them, them here? How they are serving Krishna? How they control Krishna? Can you narrate something? Renovator, yes, I can tell, but Krishna's nature, that wherever someone glorifying him, special is devotee, and especially gopis, then Krishna will come here, then everything will spoil. If someone guard, be outside of the door and check Krishna because Krishna told Madhvatta Jatra Gayanti Tatra Tishthami Narada. Whenever you glorify, Krishna bound to come there. So who will be guard? 16,108 queens, no one ready to be in guard. They all of them want to listen from Mother Rohini. Then they told Subhadra Devi, so they, okay, I'll do this job. So Subhadra Devi, being out of the door, Guarding the nun can enter there. And Rohini Maya telling the glories of gopis. Krishna and Baladev Prabhu, along others, he was in Sudharma Sava, the royal assembly of Dharaka. Krishna came running from there with Baladev Prabhu. Subhadra told, Brother, 
today I, I cannot allow to enter there. Mother appointed me to check you, Baladev, anyone cannot enter there. So Krishna and Baladev, listening the glory of Braj, keeping their ear on the door, as much they are hearing, gradually, gradually, their heart, all body became melted. In the meantime, Narada appeared there and he pranam to Krishna and Baladev Prabhu. Then Krishna told, and Krishna came in natural form and told, Barangruhi, Barangruhi, ask any benediction. Then Narada told, Oh Prabhu, if you please with me, I want only one benediction. Which form I have seen to you now, I want to see this form anywhere in the world. Then Jagannath told, Krishna told, so be it. So he benedicted his devotee Narada Rishi. So to fulfill Narada Rishi's desire, and Krishna wanted to manifest here in the form of Jagannath Dev. So in this form, he manifests there. Then Indra Maharaj, taking these three deities, came and made a huge temple and keep there. Before going to the Nilvatha, he made this temple. When he came back, whole temple covered by sand. Then they removed the sand, and in the meantime, one another king was name was Galop. He took charge of the temple and told, This is my temple. King Indra told, No, I made this temple before going to Nilmadha. Then, who is the witness? There was one crow named Kagbhusundi, very near and dear devotee of Lord Ramchandra. He always there in four jugos, he never die. He told, No, this temple constructed by Indra Dumna Maharaj and Galop took charge by force, but no one is there. Then, he repaired. He repaired only. He took the sand out and repaired only. Then Galop became very ashamed and asked forgiveness. So, Indra Dumna Maharaj, taking these three deities, along with Sudarshan Chakra established there. And in every year, during month of June, there's cut festival, taking from one place to another place. So how it possible, how it took place? So when Jagannath the deity, they give in Sran Jatra, a few days before the Purnima, it called Sran Jatra. They give lot of water in Jagannath, they took full bath. Then his Angarag was out. And they had to again do Angarag, means have to color them. But Jagannath they telling, oh, I am sick. So God is covered, none can take the sun. In these 15 days, none can take darshan. And after some time, Jagannath Dev told to Bimala Devi, who represented the representative, the queens of Daraka, told, I am very sick, now I want to go for change. So if any sick anywhere, if you change the climate, then it will be better. So Jagannath Dev, Krishna told to Lakshmi Devi, I want to go for a change. So Lakshmi Devi should not doubt so he took his brother Baladev Prabhu and Subhadra Devi. Why? If Krishna will go alone, then Lakshmi will doubt, oh, he may go run away from here to Braj. So Krishna is so tricky, he took Baladev Prabhu and Subhadra. Krishna thought, oh, I will go Braj, then Baladev Prabhu will play with Sakhas and my father, and Subhadra will be with my mother and other girls, I can play with gopis. By this way, Krishna took Baladev Prabhu, and Subhadra Devi. During card festival, Baladev Prabhu's card will go fast. Why? Because Baladev Prabhu is Guru Tattva. Akhanda Guru Tattva. Unless uncle, Guru Devi is not pleased, then Bhagavan never be pleased. So, Prathamam tu Guru Mpujya Tatasthiva Mamarchanam Tadesa Bhagavad Bhakti Jannathan is follow Bhavet. So, first have worship and serve your Guru Pahad Padma. Taking permission from him, if you worship God, then will be bhakti, otherwise everything go in vain. So Baladev is going ahead. After that Subhadra Devi, at last, Krishna will go. Still nowadays, this system was going on. And even this rule is there, higher Krishna, Balad Jagannath's cart will stop. He will not go ahead that day. Sometime two days, three days, he on the road. And take, giving darshan to all devotees. Two years before, Jagannath Dev cart stopped, and Bhakti Siddhartha Chakra Prabhupada took bath, stopped there for two days. 
In three days he went to Gunnicha Mandir. By this way, Raja took place about nine days. In the middle, there is one very nice festival called Hera Panchami. Hera means to see or to search Panchami, the fifth day of God festival. We shall listen from Srila Gurudev. Because Gurudev is giving signal not to go proceed. Hare Krishna. Pancha Akal Bhattaru Pastra Kipar Sindhu Bhaya Vata. He will give his rest of Harikatha. Tomorrow again we will start. Gaur Praman. Sannyasi should be ready for Mahaprabhu Vindavan Jatra and Rup Goswami Sanatan Goswami Siksha. Hare Krishna. Few more devotees have requested for initiation. They became so inspired seeing their classes and other initiatives. They take place tomorrow 9 a.m. So who is inspired? Who has one initiation? They can register their name, Siman Vishnu Maharaj. <coughs> tomorrow sometime we will register the name. Please come just before 9 with the bhajan kuti.